Yeah, there's two. One there, one there. All right, we're on? Yes. Hey, it is Saturday morning, July 4th. Happy birthday, America. Happy birthday, America. <laughs> that was that was the your phone ding. How do That's I, right. How do I see the live on my phone here? Yeah. Oh, you got to go on to Facebook. And oh, then... oh, we're on Facebook. Sorry, yeah. I was on YouTube. Yeah, yeah <laughs> that would make a difference. <laughs> um, anyway, so I uh, hope you guys are having a great day. It is 9 a.m. here in California, and it's uh, a lot later than that on the East Coast obviously so i hope you guys are uh got great things planned i think we're doing a we're doing a barbecue or what are we i don't doing? know we got I, family coming yeah, over i gotta go get some stuff i got some halibut we're gonna fry up okay i i think we got people coming over i don't really know yeah I, my wife set stuff up so i don't i yeah. guess i better figure it out <laughs> she'll tell you when she'll you need to know. know it's yeah. a need to know basis yeah, that's right and <laughs> you need to know when it's time to go yeah. yeah okay anyway so we had a great uh youtube uh live last night it was fun uh, really enjoyed that it was a lot of fun yeah so um anyway we will get into this i i'm definitely going to do some sign carvers of the day this morning and we've got a couple really good questions actually all both from the mm -hmm. same gentleman over in the uk uh bob walmsley i'm sure i'm saying that wrong Right. How do you pronounce that? W A L M. Brad and Diana are here. Hey, Brad and Diana. Wal Walm Walmsley. 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 We'll call him. Uh, we'll call him Robbie Wall. <laughs> he goes by Bob, even though oh, this says. Oh, okay, Bobby it, Wall. He goes by. Uh, he goes by Bob. Okay. Anyway, Bob. All right. So, I think these are some really good questions. This is a long email, but I'm just going to read the question part of it. Um, he said. Um, how do I cut a neat circle with a router using a without using a pivot screw in the center? And he says, uh, "This chair is going." Oh, that's the second. Uh, oh, that's the second question there. B. So it's not this thing at the bottom. I didn't bottom. think so. That didn't yeah. look like a question. Yeah. So, Once he saw that, I was like, oh. "Yeah, yeah." So um, anyway, so how? And, and he's building a Viking chair out of. Um, uh, a really um, a UK wood that looks like a hardwood. What is it? I what, what no, kind of wood he's building the Viking chair out of cedar. Remember? Oh yeah, that's yeah, right. Out of cedar. Red cedar. Red yeah. cedar. So my suggestion to Bob was that um, using a pivot point in the center is really a great way to do a circle. <coughs> And I suggest he still do that, but rather than, than doing it on your actual piece, I would cut your circle pattern out of, I use half inch MDF, whatever you can use, plywood, whatever is going to give you a nice routed edge, still use that pivot point, make your perfect circle, or you can make a hole, depending on what you're doing with it, uh, make that out of half inch MDF and then use that as a template to cut your your uh, actual final piece. So using a pivot point in the center is still a great way to make a circle, to get a perfect circle. Just use that to make a template and then you don't have to use that on your final piece. Um, so that that's my suggestion. Again, and, and you could do it, so you could do it a couple different ways. You could, you could figure it out, calculate it out, so that it's a little bit smaller or a little bit larger if you're going to use a template guide like I normally use my guide bushing or template guides on my router you could do it that way or you could let's say um, let's say this is your router and you want to make your circle you can make the circle small enough that you could set that base right the, the edge of the base right up to the circle and do it that way so you wouldn't have to use a template guide so to speak you just would make your circle template or pattern small enough that you could lay put the, the the router base plate right on the wood and then use that as your you know if you don't want to use a template guide yeah you know and I mean? that was my dad's suggestion for me i just that takes so much time if i want the circle right so let's you, you got a piece of wood you're going to cut a hole you're going to cut a circle out of a hole right so if you want the circle part you're going to cut 
cut it a little bigger, and then sand it down to where you want. If you want the hole, cut it a little smaller, and then send it out the way you want. I I just so you mean freehand cut it? Freehand cut it. Yeah. With with a spiral up cut. Yeah, and or then just use, a straight bit. Yeah, and then use a sander, your belt sander, whatever, and you know you have your line that you want to follow, and it just that to me would go a lot faster, but Dad's. Dad's got yeah. more patience than I do. I don't have the patience to make multiple different patterns and stuff. Draw a circle you want, cut a bigger around it, and then sand it down. Yeah, or that's my the, or the opposite. Or cut the it, opposite. Cut it smaller. If you're cutting a hole, right. cut it smaller and then sand the inside of the yes. circle. Which that would take a little more time, obviously. But that's where that um, I've got one of those uh, spindle sanders. Yeah. Those ran those ones that go up and down and. Yeah. That's where those really, that come, would really in come in handy. I use that quite often, actually. I, that really comes in handy. That's so, what I would do. So, But that might not be an option on this Viking chair. That's the thing. I don't know in what context he's cutting that circle in making this Viking chair. It may be... You know, it may be connected to other things that he might not have. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, it, maybe. But know. if that's the case, then I would just use a Sawzall. There you go. Uh, but I'm impatient. That's one of my very few downfalls. So. I'm sure that that would be top on his list. He's making this nice Viking chair. Take a sawzall yeah. to it. Yeah. Right. Or, or a chainsaw. 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 Whatever there works. There you go. Whatever make works. little ones. <laughs> All right. So that's, that, that's a couple different perspectives on it. Yeah. I like it. That's the young perspective and the old man perspective. That's right. <laughs> I am there. Dan. Oh, somebody asked where you were? No, he asked. He says, I'm doing double duty watching and. Yeah. Oh. How's that working out? What, it's looking fine. at the comments? Good. Good. Okay. So, uh, B. So, this one's yours. You. Um, the chair he's making is going to go out in the garden permanently for barbecues, etc. Do you reckon that it would be advisable to give the wood some tea coil or any other weatherproofing? Uh, blah, blah, blah. He said, you guys in most parts of the U.S., especially Arizona, probably don't need preservatives. Anything that's going to go outside made out of wood, you got to put something on if you want it to last, right? Um, so, Dad had a really... Oh, thanks, Mom. Dad had a really good suggestion. Uh, he said, because you live in the U.K., we I've never been there. You know, I'm assuming it's a lot like uh, the Northwest, Washington, really damp and, and uh, overcast most of the time. Talk to a local painter and find out what good preservatives work on wood. Um, and talk to people in your area that know woodworking or um, that would have some knowledge of that and find out what they use. You know, like we use the Helmsman Spar Urethane and it works really good. But I'm in California. Dad's in Arizona. Different weather climates than uh, than the UK. So. Yeah. And that and, and you know, I, I agree 100 percent that. Anything that goes outside, I don't care what part of the world you live in. If it goes outside, you got to have something. It can't just be bare wood. Yeah. At least that's my experience. It's Le got to have something on it. Leanne Page said you should all make a trip to the UK. We should. Leanne's in the UK. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Don't I, they have Red Stag there? Isn't that where Red Stag is at? What's I don't know. What's that's Red a beer, Stag? Or what's no, it's, Stag? A, it's a deer. Oh, Hobber, it's a oh, beer. Yeah. It's a beer. A yeah. deer beer. Same thing. No, Hobber went. Oh, no, he went to New Zealand. That New was Zealand. New Zealand. Yeah. Oh, okay. Anyway, I'd like to go. I'd like to go. You know, they hunt with silencers in most part other parts of the world. Really? Yeah. They well, they're suppressors. It, the, that's what I was going to say. They're, that they're not was, silencers. They're, yeah, they're that's suppressors. like calling a magazine a clip. A clip. Yes, it is. Uh, Watch that. She said yes. They have those there. Yeah. See. All right. Let's go. So a suppressor. Why? So why would they well, use a suppressor? Because most they don't want to wake the neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> they, most people, I don't hunt with earplugs, even okay. when I'm duck hunting or whatever, because you want to be able to hear and everything. And the loud shot, it's bad for your ears. So they consider it a safety issue. Really? Mm -hmm. Now, how does that? We're getting way off topic here, but how does that? Does that affect the accuracy or anything no. like that? So no. a suppressor 
really doesn't it just suppresses the noise it doesn't necessarily well if you if you sight in your scope you want to sight it in with the ammo you're going to use using the suppressor so okay. you're you're on regardless okay. oh that leanne says you should come and we we would be happy to hang with you all and show you around oh, that'd be, Matt, that'd be that'd pretty be cool so, that would be so cool I would love to Matt do that. Matt Bay I, is here. Yeah, I would love to travel to, you know, go down and see Brad and Diana in Australia. and That'd be uh, pretty awesome. One of these days we're going to make a world world tour. That's right. Dave signs world tour. That's right. We're okay. Do it. Just bring warm clothes. <laughs> My wife would love it. <laughs> Matt yeah. wants to know if you're going to do a corn on the cob fire today. <laughs> <laughs> Not if I can help it. <laughs> All right, so we... Um, yeah, I think that pretty much answers it. I, and again, I agree with Ryan, and he got the idea from me, but that's okay. Yeah. He uh, agrees because it was his idea. Yeah. He just let me read it. <laughs> yeah, just find out, wherever you guys are at, just find out what the local the local painters and uh, carpenters and stuff, what they use on wood outside. Uh, that's the Because every part of the world is different. You know, Arizona is different than here, and here is different than Australia. So find out what the local uh, commercial guys do. She says, that, as long as Eric is not doing a spray demo. Hello. <laughs> on, on lawn furniture? Brad said, whenever you guys want to, we're ready. Oh, that would be so freaking cool. That would be awesome. One of these days. All right. Sign carvers of the day. So that's the two huh. questions. Thank you, Bob, for those questions. Those were uh, really cool. Uh, you want to bring them to you, babe? She said the weather's... Frightful? 64 today. Oh, 64. That does sound nice. All right. Yeah, we'll try. Tessa. This Tessa? Is, She's is, not here. Well, she will be. Is oh, it this Tessa is or Tessia? Tessa. It's Tessa. Oh, it, it, it looks is, like Tessia. Oh, okay. Oh, I had to learn that first. You know what? Let me, because of the sh light and the shape. Let me try yeah, kind of weird in. lighting out here today. What do you want to do? I want to try to zoom in. Hold it up oh, over okay. the, uh, hold it up a little bit. You got light and shade. That's why gotcha. I want to. Normally, you tell me not to do this because I'm covering up my face. Vicky and still you... waiting for an answer. They are on vacation. Who is that? Not... Barry Figgle. Figgle. Oh, good morning, guys. I just switched it over Did again. You... <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you could do that on Facebook Live. I didn't either, but. <laughs> she does it quite often. Quite often. <laughs> Barry, so I've got an email from you that I need to answer. Justin Hellickson says, good morning, Rodens. All right. Morning, hey, Justin. Okay. Great job, Tessa. Love them. Oh, that actually right. shows up really good, Mom. Yeah, babe. You got, oh. I got you right here. Hold it up, sorry. down a little bit. So okay. this is uh, Scott. I believe he's down in um, uh, Lake Havasu. So he's kind of local to us. So he did this with a trim router and... Uh, Harbor Freight bits. He has our bits now, but he did this first one with Harbor Freight bits. That's so, a nice looking piece of wood. Not bad. Yeah, it actually looks really Was cool. Was that stained? I think it's got a stain on it. Yeah, yeah I like he that. He does need to shave. That's yes, I I'm do. right up on your face. I'm on vacation. I thought about that, but then so I'm on vacation. Leon Martin. Oh. oh not I'm, that much. Leon, okay. uh, there. he's a good dude. Stank, the Stankas? Mm -hmm. Stankas? Stonkus. Stonkus. Matt said, hey, Ryan, I like you too, buddy. Because <laughs> <laughs> you said that last night on the live. All right. She said what? Matt Bay, I like that dude. Oh, okay. yeah. Great job, Leon. Hey, if if uh, if one of the, the that family member's name was Ooh, Shane. Oh, that's on a rifle, huh? This is on a rifle. I'm sure Ryan has it. Yeah. Go ahead, finish your thought. So if this guy's name is Shane, he'd be Stonka Shane. <laughs> like Donka Shane? Uh -huh. Sorry. I don't know. Funny, so. <laughs> that just came up. All right. <laughs> okay. You guys can forget that part. Great job, Brian. Uh, that that is, was all done with a Dremel, by the way. That, that is done really with a small cool. Dremel. If you're going to hold it, you got to hold it up right in front of your face because that's where I'm right zoomed in. Front of my, okay. I've got this much of you, so you are... Okay. Now we'll do it. Down. 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 There you go. <laughs> Maria Campos. This one's really, really cool. I love the black and the gold. That is really a cool looking sign. Great job, Maria. I think Maria is over in Southern California. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that shows up pretty cool. Yeah. This is kind of neat. You can actually. Yeah, it's a, there's a little bit of a delay, but not bad. Yeah, that's cool. All right. Serving so. comedians everywhere, and then there's Ryan. Mm -hmm. That's right. <laughs> Don't right. use that joke, it's copywritten. Oh, I just kicked something. 
Okay. Um, anything else? Anything we need to know? Any? Uh, I don't think so. Larry Cole said, "No shave fishing trip." <laughs> That's right. Well, we're going fishing tomorrow. We are going fishing tomorrow in the bay, mm-hmm. uh, or maybe outside the Golden Gate. We're not sure. We're going to either go catch some salmon or some rockfish. Um, we've got a trip set up with a good friend of ours since you guys were little kids. Mm-hmm. He used to be our next door neighbor, and, and another friend. And the four of us are going out in the ocean. We'll be saltwater fishing. So it's gonna be fun. We gotta leave here about two thirty in the morning, something like that. Yeah. Anyway, Andy, it should be fun. Um, Andy Earl said, "Good luck fishing, guys." Thanks, Andy. Thanks. Uh, I'm hoping for we're gonna have a great time. We always do when the four of us get together. So. Yeah, it'll be fun. Anyway, happy Dan Yoda says maybe you'll catch something. Maybe. <laughs> Let's yeah. hope so. If there's other people guiding the trip, if I'm on my own, we'll come back with nothing, bro. Yeah. Just a sunburn. <laughs> um, Anyway, guys, I hope you guys have a great 4th of July and and everybody is safe out there. It's pretty crazy times all over the world, but uh, really here in the U.S. there's some crazy things going on. So I hope everybody is safe and happy birthday, America. And Leanne Page says 2.30 in the morning. Are you damn crazy? Yes, they are. For fishing? Oh, yeah. That's right. Yeah, it's not a problem. Um, That's it. Anything else? Anything, Vic? Anything we need to... Okay. So, tomorrow morning, there will be a video, but we're not doing... Well, we might... Ryan and I might do some kind of live thing from know. the boat. I, I don't know what... We'll have a signal or I, what. I'm not really sure. I don't... We're not going to go... I don't even think we'll be a mile away from land. Yeah, but I, I don't know. We might have a signal. Regardless, we'll try to... We'll try and get some stuff. content for the, for the channel. Try, and Instagram and Facebook and all that. So, you guys might see us out there. Anyway, guys, that's Happy Fourth of July, guys. Stay Happy safe. Fourth. Everybody have a great day and, or a great evening wherever you're at, and uh, stay safe. And we will, Vicky and I, will be back for our live on Monday evening if everything goes right. We're going to leave Monday morning here, and uh, if everything goes right, we'll do a live on here on Facebook Monday evening, 6 p.m. If it all goes right, if it doesn't, then we'll announce it. We'll let you know. Anyway, guys, love you. Thanks so much for watching. And let me know if you have any questions. Keep sending the sign carvers of the day. That's it. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. See ya.